This is my friend Emily. She wanted to save money by making her own wedding cake. Insane, right? Like with the craziness of a wedding, she was gonna bake her own wedding cake. But today I am surprising her with a $3,000 wedding cake. Her initial idea was to make the cake herself and bake the cakes weeks ahead of time and somehow find room in her freezer. Then a day or two before the wedding, she was gonna have to decorate and assemble them with a newborn and a puppy at home. Emily's initial plan for a wedding cake was to do something really simple, but I don't think that that was her dream design. For years working at the bakery together, we were both obsessed with wedding cakes and cakes just in general. So I was so interested to see like what her dream design could look like. Emily is a giver, like she will do anything for you and she doesn't expect anything returned, but she is so, so deserving of this. When Lori said she really wants to do my wedding cake for me and get this taken care of, I immediately went, oh my God, how much is she going to spend on this? <laughs> I am not someone that likes to spend money on things. So, so having someone else spend money on me makes me feel extremely guilty. <laughs> she kind of said, you know, dream up your wildest thing, go on Pinterest, go on Instagram, see what you can find. And we looked through some inspiration together and she just went nuts with it. We have an excited bride and we have a budget. Now we just need to figure out exactly what she wants so we know what to give the bakery. Emily's main wedding color is burgundy, so we knew that that had to be a big component of the cake. Didn't know exactly how we wanted to tie it in, but we know that once the cake is there in the hall, it has to match everything else. Now the most basic wedding cake is just like a white cake with fresh flowers on it. But how do you get from like a $300 basic cake to a $3,000 like over the top extravagant cake? I'm looking for things like height and texture and different kind of dimensions of tiers. Definitely some gold leaf or some gold dust, but the biggest thing is definitely sugar flowers. Sugar flowers, it's hard to find someone who's talented enough to who knows how to do them. To do really delicate, like beautiful sugar flower work is really challenging. That's why most people just stick fresh flowers in the cake and it is the less expensive way of going but we're not going the less expensive way. So I went through a Pinterest board. I printed out a million photos of all the different cakes. I figured we would go through all of them and pick out ones that you'd like. Kevin asked me how many pictures I was for. I was thinking, I was like, well, only like six pages, I think. And then after I went through it, it ended lied. up being, I lied. I for sure lied because there's so many more than that. Emily didn't want anything too bold. I mean, she was okay with doing something like modern and fun and out there, but, but not too much. So we knew she wanted like pretty traditional as far as a mainly white wedding cake, but a pop of that burgundy color. She really loved this burgundy ruffle like rip pattern that were on some of these tiers. She loved the gold elements and we're kind of playing around with that trying to see if we could do maybe some like gold leaves with the flowers and maybe some burgundy flowers. She loved the ripped edge on the top of tiers and how you can kind of maybe play around with some textures with that. Having a good design though is only half the battle. Finding someone who can actually execute that and bring it to life is the other part but I think that I found the perfect person. We're going with Alexandra from Fine Spun Cakes. Her sugar flower work is exactly on point with what we're looking for. Most places, if they have sugar flowers, they're just factory made sugar flowers. They're not thin, they're not delicate, they don't really look realistic. They're just kind of chunky. I really wanted these flowers to be on point and I feel like she was the perfect person for that. But she also specializes in wedding cakes. This is her bread and butter, this is what she does. So I knew that she'd be able to do something amazing. Alexandra took all of our ideas in and I feel like we said a lot. So we broke those down and she's gonna come up with a few different designs for us and I can't wait to see them. Hey, this is Emily. Hello. And Olive. Nice to meet you, Olive and Emily. We've narrowed it down to like three cakes. This one, I just kind of like the contrast of the colors, how it kind of pops from the top and the bottom and how it's sort of like ombre. And then I like the flower placement on that one, how it's kind of like the two bundles of flowers. And then there's this one. Oh yeah, this one is like the kind of, almost like torn texture on the bottom. Yeah. yeah. We love the gold leaves on this. If we did like burgundy roses or something like that, have that gold pop there in the leaf. I think that's really beautiful with that contrast. And then this was an example we found that had the different like almost like burgundy pinks but it had that same like ripped texture but what we loved was that it wasn't one tone. Like you can really see the different layers. We can definitely do that. As for flowers, do you have any inspiration photos in terms of variety of flowers and also the mix of colors? Your sugar flowers, the roses are so Stunning. Yeah, they're gorgeous. If we could have those big pops of like burgundy with the big roses and maybe some like ivory or white with like smaller roses, I think that could be a good mix because they're just beautiful. Yeah, they're gorgeous. I've been creeping your Instagram okay. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> 
So thank you. <laughs> um, but I agree. I think the roses and the burgundy would be really stunning. If we're mixing a little bit of cream in there, we could definitely do some spray roses in the cream color. I mean, I think that's everything for now. The next steps are just going to be me putting together a sketch for you. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. I can't wait to see what you sketch up and what you come up with. We're like super flexible. So definitely just like run with kind of what yes. we've given you and make it your own. Thank you guys. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Talk soon. Bye. We left the consultation with Alexandra feeling totally confident that she was the right one for the job. But the next task is a hard one. But Emily and I are fully committed to the process. So we're gonna try every cake, icing, and filling flavor that she offers. So I went down to the bakery yesterday and got all of the samples, which isn't really traditional, but I wanted us to have lots of different samples so we could try every combination. Holly smelled the cake and had to come over. Oh, it's all that good stuff. So she said lemon cake with raspberry buttercream and raspberry compote. Raspberry compote's really yummy. Mm -hmm. The icing is really nice. It's like sweet and creamy, but it's not too raspberry. Vanilla cake with salted caramel buttercream and chocolate hazelnut filling. I don't think that's my favorite combination. I yeah, like, like I like the hazelnut and mm -hmm. I like the buttercream, Me but too. I think- Chocolate. I think I like it with the chocolate better but I just like chocolate cake, mm. so. No, that's a good combination. Mm -hmm. So even though I like tasting the cakes and Emily liked tasting the cakes, Luke still had to taste them to see what he thought of them. Luke is a big cake person. So when I brought home a couple of cake boxes full of fillings and icings and cakes, he just kind of devoured before realizing that he needed to mix and match and taste. He had a very hard time narrowing flavors down. <laughs> the final flavor choices were the top tier is going to be vanilla cake with a lemon curd filling and a vanilla buttercream. The middle tier is gonna be carrot cake with toasted hazelnuts and cream cheese buttercream. And the bottom tier is going to be a chocolate cake with milk chocolate ganache filling and a vanilla buttercream. Hey. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good. I'm so excited for Emily to see the designs. I saw a sneak peek of them the other day. So <laughs> I know what they look like, but the bride is still in the dark and has no idea. I know. I can't believe it. I'm very excited to show you. So this first one is a little bit more minimal and kind of geometric. And then this one, we've got all of the ruffles in kind of like an ombre effect at the bottom. This one is definitely the most botanical one. I focus more on those bright burgundy flowers. Super cool. I really like this one. This one and like the last one we saw are probably my favorite. I really like both those designs. I'm really like... I feel like you took like all of those 20 photos that we gave you and really picked apart <laughs> oh all of the elements so that we loved. They yeah, look awesome, cool. honestly, they're great. I was blown away by the initial designs and I feel like Emily really was too. I mean, Alexandra truly captured the essence of all of the elements that Emily really liked and tied them into designs that worked. I know Emily and I know that she felt really guilty about us spending this much money on her wedding cake, but seeing her eyes light up when she saw those designs really made everything so worth it. I wanna take a quick second and thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this video and making this possible. As some of you guys may know, I struggle with depression and anxiety. I've had two major depression episodes in my life and one of them being just in this past year. And anxiety is just part of a daily battle for me. So when I say I bake with love and anxiety, I mean it. And there are a number of things that have helped me through my mental health struggles. But the game changer for me is therapy. BetterHelp is the largest online therapy platform worldwide. You can join a video chat at your convenience around your own schedule, making professional therapy accessible, affordable, and convenient. The biggest reason I put off therapy for years is that I couldn't find the time to travel to appointments, and it was so hard to find a therapist that I connected with. If there's something you've been struggling with, BetterHelp can assess your needs and match you with a licensed therapist from their over 20,000 therapist network. You can start communicating within 48 hours with a professional therapist done securely online. No more awkwardly sitting around in uncomfortable waiting rooms. You can schedule a weekly video or phone session around what day and time of week works for you. Everybody is different and finding the right therapist that you feel comfortable with is by far the most important thing. BetterHelp gets that and makes it so easy and free to switch between therapist so that way you find someone who you truly connect and feel comfortable with. You guys can visit betterhelp.com slash the icing artist that's better h-e-l-p and join over 3 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional.
Let's get back to the video. Now there's only one thing left to do. Alexandria has to make this cake. Hey there, this is Alexandria here from Fine Spun Cakes, and we are about two and a half weeks out from the wedding, so we are gonna be starting flower prep today. We've got some hydrangeas, roses, sweet peas, and some gold greenery to make. Um, I'm sure a few other things thrown in there too. Next week is gonna go by super fast because we're gonna be baking, assembling, masking, uh, adding fondant, and then adding all the beautiful textures and then it's gonna be delivery day. Here are our hydrangeas and those are in that beautiful cream color. We've also got some sweet peas in that same color. We have sweet peas in burgundy, some more spray roses in cream, and then we have our main flowers, the burgundy roses. And these are gonna look so beautiful. Once we get some dust on them right now, they look a little bit two dimensional. It is the Tuesday before the wedding and all baking is finished. Most of the buttercream is finished as well. We've got a packed day of stuff still. Time to slice and assemble these cakes now. A bit of simple syrup just to make sure it stays moist. Then I'm gonna be adding some vanilla bean buttercream for this layer. I wanna make sure there's like a nice dam on the outside and smooth it out. Today is another big day. We're going to be making a ton of buttercream, masking the cakes, finishing up that ruffle tier finally, and then uh, finishing some more flowers. Hold it and then tear so I'm not getting fingerprints everywhere. And I want that to be above the line of the fondant. Perfect, it's gonna give it a bit more dimension. I am all done with this torn fondant ruffle look then I can start masking all of the cakes. Even though this is going to be covered in fondant, I still need a really nice smooth surface. Hello, it is Friday, the day before delivery day. Um, lots to do today. We're really coming to the end here. We are stacking now. This is a gigantic tier, so luckily I'm tall. I'm gonna show you when I add some of that gold. I definitely want it to have more depth and stand out a little bit more. The sun is shining 24 7 cause when we're together it feels like we're in heaven if it will get dark you'll be my million stars i know i can lean on you oh you catch me like a leaf falling from a tree if i'll be a shooting star you make a wish no i don't fake this kind of feeling never felt so real my heart is on the table cause you're my everything I do, 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 I wanna marry you Cause when you're around I know it's true ooh, ooh, The way you make me feel is so good, baby So good, so good Every single day we spend a part I wanna be with you Baby, take my hand, hold it tight just like you do Feels so good, so good Dude! Whoa, whoa, no! No! What you're looking at is a destruction left behind by a violent storm uh, that swept through parts of the province over the weekend. I think everyone expects a couple things to go wrong on their wedding day. You know, and maybe some rain, not tornadoes in the area, destroying the ceremony area, shutting down the power in both the hotel where we're getting ready and in the venue and everything was a mess. I want to put a little PSA out there, a little, a little public service announcement. <laughs> um, telling a bride on her wedding day, that rain is good luck, is not gonna earn you any favors. The cake survived, um, but about an hour before I was supposed to get married, the storm of all storms rolled through and we had about 10 minutes warning. So our whole ceremony area was completely destroyed. Our venue was out without power. We ran on generators for the night and I was 45 minutes late for my wedding ceremony, but I'm married. So it's good. It's good. <laughs> oh my God, is Emily a trooper and did she pull through and the day turned out beautiful. I could not wait to see the cakes. I snuck in the hall before the reception to take a sneak peek. And oh my God, like I had no words. I have never seen a wedding cake that was this beautiful. The height of it, the size of it, the colors on it. Like you can see the colors next to my dress and they matched 
perfectly. They were exactly Emily's colors. I feel like she brought in every single element that Emily really, really wanted. The torn pattern, that kind of ombres in the bottom tier with the gold detailing edging so you could really see each torn edge. I loved the double barrel. Oh my God, the double barrel. I feel like it added this really modern edge to it. I feel like she really tied the gold detailing in right from the leaves to the edges of the fawn and, and it all just works really well together. And don't get me started on those flowers. Oh my God, the flowers were so stunning, were so delicate. They were absolutely beautiful. She completely nailed the design. I was so overwhelmed when I saw that cake. It, it was massive. It was huge and the colors were so bold and beautiful and the flowers were just extraordinary, just cascading so beautifully down the cake. Honestly, it just blew my mind. It was absolutely gorgeous. I almost didn't want to cut into it because it was just so perfectly sitting there and I was like, you have to cut it. The flowers were a huge thing for me. The amount of work that goes into creating each individual petal and leaf and stringing them all together and getting them all perfectly placed in the cake and coloring them and dusting them and adding texture and everything. It's hours go into a single flower. I think it was really just like a showstopper. I wasn't able to try every cake flavor at the wedding, so Alexandra sent me home with this beautiful little box with all of the flavors in it. Look how cute these are, how sweet is that? When the wedding was over, I grabbed the flowers off the wedding cake, and we wanted to take them the cake, and I wanted to take them the flowers. Look at the details in this rose, like look how delicate they are. They're absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's try out some cake flavors. This one is a rich chocolate cake with a vanilla bean buttercream and a milk chocolate ganache. That ganache is next level. That is so creamy. So decadent, so yummy, and it's not a really sweet. It just goes down really easy, you know? Well-balanced dessert. This one is a spiced carrot cake with a cream cheese filling and toasted hazelnuts. Just sounds good. Carrot cake isn't exactly what you expect for a wedding flavor, but it's not too sweet, it's not too overpowering, it's not too carroty, it's just like a very yummy light cake. I could eat this for days. The last one is a vanilla cake with a vanilla bean buttercream and a lemon curd filling, which I feel like is very classic for a wedding cake. When we tried that lemon curd filling during the tasting, it was really strong by itself, but once it's layered with a vanilla bean buttercream and the vanilla cake, whoo, is that a good combination. I think this one is my favorite. It's just so light and airy and so yummy. The lemon curd works so well with the buttercream. Congratulations, Emily. I hope you really loved your wedding cake. I loved it. You guys have to comment down below and let me know what you guys thought of it. I know I said all the mushy stuff at your wedding, so I won't get into that, but you know I love you. If you guys haven't already, if you could please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, it really helps us out. And thank you to Alexandra for doing such an incredible job on this cake. Love you guys so much.